Oh my god, guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't believe this. I cannot believe that this just happened. Oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> oh my god, guys. Welcome back to my channel. I am so, so excited. I could not wait to share this good news with you. Guys, I got my dream job. I finally, finally, finally got my dream job in the UK. After eight applications, eight and seven years, I finally got my dream job. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh my God. Oh my God. I have been looking forward to sharing this beautiful news with you. I've just been waiting for, you know, certain things and finally they are in. So I, I feel like it's the right time to share it with you now. <laughs> I'm so excited. I am so, 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 so excited because God came true. This was God, literally. That's, this was God. I, of course, did my best. I put in the work. Yeah, I should give myself some credit. Well, God came true. God came true. And just to let you know, your girl is gonna be a bad seven theatre manager. <laughs> I cannot go to my I've been a nurse in the UK for about four years now. I've been a band five nurse for about two, a band six for two, about two years also, and now. I'm about to start a new journey as a band seven theater manager. Guys, how amazing is this? Like, how amazing. Let me break down the whole gist. I'm definitely going to break down the whole gist. I'm coming, I'm coming away. I am receiving gifts. Like, I am receiving gifts. So, feel free to send me gifts, money, all kinds. Just send me gifts. Okay guys, so here is the full gist. This whole application started out of curiosity. I mean the whole process, everything, everything started out of pure curiosity. I was just curious about what a band seven role entails, what's the job description, what's the application requirements, academic requirements. You know everything everything i was just curious about it i wanted to know not for now because i didn't at the, at the point when i started that was last year i was just about um i was just about a year <laughs> as a six and i didn't feel like maybe a year and some months i didn't feel like i was ready for this role so I felt like there's no point applying. But then I thought, why not just try? I mean, what's the worst that could happen? The worst that could happen is you don't get a job. And since you're not ready, there's nothing to lose, right? So, yeah. <laughs> I told my friend about it and she's like, you are smart. I think you have the expertise and the competencies. Just look at what is the ones and get them and go for it. I also spoke to my line manager about it and she gave me a few pointers. So I'm like, okay, we're good to go. Let's go. <laughs> so guys, my very first application was to my current hospital, my current hospital where I work. And I applied. I applied last minute. I just wanted to see if they shortlist me anyway. <laughs> And I got a lot of, oh, they won't pick you, you're black, you're this, forget about it, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, I'll just try it anyway. So I applied and luckily I got shortlisted. <laughs> so that felt like good vibe. That felt like good news. I'm like, okay, let's hope. <laughs> so we were, I mean, I was shortlisted for the interview. I had the interview, but unfortunately, I did not pass the interview. I got the feedback and I just took it with faith. I'm like, okay, this is this, this is that. So I knew what areas to actually work on. That was fine for me. 
yeah and then i kept applying i mean i applied to eight hospitals more yeah initially i did about six applications and i did two more i've been getting a lot of <laughs> interview invites i think i applied to six initially my hospital didn't pick me so that adds up to eight seven rather i applied another time to my hospital and i was not shortlisted that makes it eight right so i applied more <laughs> for more later anyway that's by the way so in total i think about nine or ten applications mm -hmm. although i've made some withdrawal i withdrew some applications but i did three interviews my first interview was with my hospital which i didn't pass my second interview was with another hospital i think liverpool which i didn't pass we did a we did a PowerPoint presentation. They thought it was great, but still, they didn't pick me. It cost I didn't pass, right? And then I, I, I reluctantly went for this one. I didn't want to go because after the first interview and then the second one, I felt like I was not good enough. I felt like I'm not ready for this. I felt like I won't get it. I was, I was down. I, I just didn't feel like myself. I was starting to lose, I mean, lose my confidence. And I just told my boyfriend, you know what? I don't want to go for this interview. The first two were, um, they were, um, what do I call it? They were virtual interviews. And I feel, and I feel like virtual interviews are like my strength. Yeah. And I didn't get the, I mean, I didn't pass the interview. So the, uh, the third one was going to be a face to face interview. So I'm like, if, if I flopped on two virtual interviews, what's going to happen on a face-to-face -face interview? My very first face-to-face -face interview in London was a disaster. <laughs> so I had that fair. This one too, they wanted us to pre um, have a PowerPoint presentation, which I had prepared for well and sent ahead of time. And I was really scared. And I had to travel all the way down to this place for the interview long distance i requested for virtual they said no so i had to go the first day i applied for this particular hospital which i got <laughs> the first day i applied to this hospital i told god that i want to work in this place and that's because the job description was so clear everything was just standard and i'm like okay i want to work here and trust me, the easiest way for you to advance in your career in this UK is to leave your current job. Yo, so I went for the interview full of confidence, gave it all to God to have his way. You know, I've done my best, I've done my beats, I just need him to take control. The first was the presentation. Um, I think I wowed them. <laughs> and i had several lots of questions the interview was intense trust me it was intense i go home i'm like i'm like oh my god <laughs> what just happened the interview was over on her and it was exhausting trust me at the point one of my interviewers and they were the top managers that I interviewed like the matrons and one of them was like Oh, you'll be happy. I mean, you'll be glad to know that this is your last question. And I'm like, oh, thank you. I can't wait to go. I just like, no, not the one we just finished asking. The one I'm about to ask. <laughs> anyway, it went well. You know, I got there and I'm like, can I do my presentation while I'm sitting? And they said, you can do your presentation anyhow and with any device. I did my PowerPoint presentation for the interview sitting. Like everything just went well. My travel down was good. It just all went well and i just knew god was involved <laughs> they called me like on a friday and i didn't even i couldn't even form posh i was screaming i was so excited <laughs> they're like you were the best you were amazing my feedback was mind-blowing so talk to me with some respect now i'm your latest fan servant theater manager <laughs> i'm so happy just to that just to more I'm so grateful to God. Whatever you want to do, please, you need to believe in yourself. It all starts with believing in yourself. Do it scared. Do it afraid. 
you don't have anything to lose but you have a lot to lose if you don't try okay thank you so much for all the congratulations that are going to be following this video my break is over i got to go i love you thank you mm -hmm. <laughs>